hello and welcome back to another video on um, Carmston Farm. So today we're going to do a tour of the yard. Uh, so we've got the digger, the low loader, the John Deere 6, 6250R, we've got two second hand plows, we've got a new to us but it's a second hand fast track 4220 with a set of rollers that are also second hand so we've got two of them uh, we've got a John Deere 6215R we've got another 4220 uh, we've got the baler the talhandler the drill uh, we'll go down here quickly uh, what else? we've got the combine header the uh, class axion 870 with set of chrome mowers we've also got a new bell trailer uh, we've got a second hand richard west silage trailer we've got the muck trailer well the two muck trailers the other silage trailer Another set of rollers, uh, Taliantula bale forks, the combine header, bale trailer, our 6230R with our new Rich West dump trailer. Uh, tried to do a video with that actually, and uh, the video didn't record. So we are going to get a video of that in working. Um, so we've got the lorry, uh, we have actually got another lorry on order uh, from Volvo uh, to go on the low loader. Uh, you've probably just seen something in that shed that is new, well, it's new to us but it's second hand. Um, so we've got the high spec tanker, the two red rock silage trailers, the straw bale trailer that goes on Volvo, the Fent 942 Vario, another Richard West trailer, a grain transporter. So this this shed is the shed I like to call the most expensive part of the farm. And probably can tell why I call it the most expensive shed. So we've got the two combines, the two class combines, the JCB 435S, the New Holland FR920 and new to us but it's second hand. Uh, it's a John Deere 8800 um, so we've basically brought it because it's now March or May or so we've skipped a couple of months um, we were looking at the dealerships every couple of days and then that's when we brought that um, the oil seed rape is uh, growing quite a lot. Over two fields of this, so hopefully it'll make us a bit of money um, to buy more land. Uh, my next purchase is a big uh, a Chrome Big M 450. Um, we've got silage down there that we can sell if we need to, but I don't think we will. Uh, we've also got this, this is the workshop area, so we've got the class mowers, the class row rock, two John Deere 7810s, that one is the one with less hours than that, the one over there has got, has got 20 hours on it, that has got 33, this has got 4 hours, so this is what's going to be doing the ploughing, and that's going to be going on the ploughs as well. That is actually in the moment for some software update. Um, yeah, 
waiting for some software updates and getting the salt uh, spreader sorted and ready for next season when it has to go do gritting. Yeah, we've got another crit which is coming down here. Um, so we've got the sheep yard, or the sheep field that we own. Um, we've also got a stable yard which we own. Uh, we have got the pig field which we do own as well, but don't think we'll have any pigs soon. Just need to check. Well, this is our bales storage area um, where we've got straw. We've actually sold some straw to the dairy farmer, uh, so we haven't got much straw down here at the moment. So we'll pick up that soon uh, piling back up. We've got more hay in here. Moment because we've got the horses that is uh, going to be growing because they take three bales, they take one or two bales at a time. Uh, this uh, this silage, uh, this straw bale is here because we're moving straw over to the stable yard. And I've left it there. We've also uh, taken delivery of some stone because we are going to take this tree out, take this bit out uh, so we can get to this field here and make hay. expensive shed. Uh, the Volvo will be moving once the combine season goes again. We are getting another one of them and then we're also getting an old Volvo. Um, we just need to sort out uh, some storage area to put them may sort this shed out, um, take the cultivator and the baler out, put the two combines against that wall, and put the two choppers um, against there, and then just have them, it's like this is the machinery shed, don't know yet, um, well like I said, I'm going to end the video there. So thank you for watching, please like and subscribe, and as always, until next time, 